neighbors on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Look in through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Welcome to Heart of the Home, away from home, but almost home. We're in Charlene's home. Now, Charlene is my Wednesday co-host on North Georgia Now Today. Now, Charlene, what's it been like to be a part of this show? Oh, the words can't explain what it's been like. It's just changed my whole life, to be honest. And people just come up and they tell us how much they enjoy it and, and what a blessing the show is to them. And sometimes people say that that's all they get up for in the morning is to watch the show. And We've that heard really that. Touches me. We have heard that. Now, the man standing behind you happens to be my one co-host that has the nerve to get me every opportunity he can, right? Yes, he does. Okay, Bill Senior always finds a way to get me, whether it be my age, my hair, whatever, he gets me. That Sherry Stay Makeup. That Sherry Stay Makeup. He created, he created that, you know, it's Bill who makes me, he makes me blossom, you know, because he brings out some of me. Right. Now, Matt, on the other hand, grounds me totally. Matt Dibler, who sings lead with the Diplomats and sang with the Inspirations for 14 years on Tuesday, is our inspirational message bringer. Right. He always has something positive to say, and, and it doesn't matter where you are in the valley, he's got a message with a Bible verse that'll bring you out of that. Matt, what's it mean to you to be able to do that? Well, it's, it's a great opportunity, a great privilege. I think with the opportunity and privilege is a great responsibility to the people that are watching. They, they watch looking for some hope and some encouragement. And that's, when we pray about a message, we pray for encouragement. There's enough negative in this world that needs to be something positive. So it's great just to bring a little bit of light into some darkness that's going on in this world and the economy and everything. So I think it's great, great opportunity and privilege to be able to share that, to encourage people along the way. So. It's amazing. Now everybody says, if you've seen me in the past year, you see a glimmer in my eye, you see a little bit of maybe a little happy level I haven't had before. This man is responsible for this. <laughs> he keeps me grounded, keeps me focused, and drives the motor home. He took the stress off me. Mm -hmm. On New Year's Day, I began my day stuck in Mineral Bluff, Georgia, with a motor home I couldn't drive. One phone call and I was rescued. He continues to rescue me every time we have to go to events. Now, Freddie, what's it like for you to step into a role that you've never done before? Well, it's like you said, one I've never done before, and I've get to meet a lot of people and I, uh, that I normally wouldn't have met, and I really enjoy that. Right, now we got to go to the uh, George Mountain Fair and meet somebody that we absolutely adore, Earl Thomas Conley. What was that like for you? Because you Also Aaron Tiffin. Aaron Tiffin. You have sung Earl Thomas Connolly's songs for years and years and years. Did you ever think we'd sit down and get to do an interview with him? No, I didn't. I was lucky enough to get to meet him back in the 90s, but uh, mm -hmm. not a, is, didn't get to talk to him as much as we got to talk to him recently, right. and that was a thrill for me. It was fun. It was fun. Now, we have traveled 14,000 miles in the motorhome. Between the motorhome and the Tahoe, we've kept up with the mileage. It's amazing, but talk about the lives we've touched and how people come up to the motorhome while we're parked and knock on the door. That's really awesome to be in the motorhome and see people come in and uh, eat. eat cause you Lots of cooking. <laughs> Lots of cooking going on. Now, we are, we are truly a cooking show. Heart of the Home started in my kitchen. Today, his mom is featured on the February new Heart of the Home calendar. This is a chocolate cake. Now, y'all, I can't describe it. I can't explain it. Do you smell that cake? I'm afraid to. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. Miss Loretta Brackett just made us this cake. It is warm. It is wonderful. It is deadly sweet, but it is so good. And now, how are we going to do this? I get the middle. It's you get the middle. All the chocolate in it. Well, we will be sharing this recipe and 12 or 14 others on the new Heart of the Home calendar. Today's program is going to introduce you to some of the recipes we're doing. We chose old recipes, tried and true recipes. Your aunts. Now, let's talk about who's the one that does the fried chicken that's the absolute best? My Aunt Selma. Aunt Selma. Now, what did Doris make that you liked? Banana pudding? 
I think it's Doris's banana pudding that's on one of the months. I think so, yeah. But we took old recipes and I copied the recipes as the older ladies submitted them. Sometimes there are words that are not exactly right. <coughs> we're going to bring a lady on now who every time we are out in the public doing live remotes, we'll be doing that again this year, Miss Jen Roberts controls the shots. She plays trivia for us. She has learned, she's from Washington, D.C., for goodness sake, born and bred Atlanta, went to D.C., worked in the Reagan administration, and now is back in Georgia. And she's going to talk a little bit about what it means to be back in a community where we do, we have older people, tried and true recipes, wonderful things happening. Jen, can you come on down and let's talk to her a minute. We could never do a live remote without her. This year, this year, you went from being Miss City Slicker to Country Bumpkin. Talk about what it's like. Well, I married the most wonderful man in the world. I was fortunate enough to become involved in some activities up in McCaysville, Georgia, based on my friendship with you, uh -huh. and we do a community meal up there every Monday night. And I met a gentleman there, and he literally swept me off my feet. He and asked permission for me first, and I said, wait a minute, Bubba, I got to get to know a little bit about you. He tells me now he was making you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm now a, a happy married matron in McKaysville, and I'm the proud mother of eight chickens. That's right. So, and that's going to be a trivia question at our remote, because I've had some people stop and ask me about that. And we prepare a lot on all of these programs that mm -hmm. we do, because... Well, you have an audience that's so wide-reaching. I met a lady yesterday who was a caregiver for two older couples in Morganton, mm -hmm. and she gets there at 7 every morning, and they turn on at 7, and they wait until 8.30, and oh, they feel sweet. that they're vitally involved with you and Charlene and Bill, and she had some words about Bill, but, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> but Matt, and she, she asked me, she said, I heard you got chickens, and I said, yes, and she said, well, what are they? And I said, well, one's named Matt, one's named Charlene, I said, there's a Bill, and we were laughing about things like that, and she said, but I feel like I know you. Mm -hmm. She said, I've not met you, but I feel like I know you. I think that's the most important part of this program. The morning show does connect us daily. If you call me and tell me that someone passed away that morning, we can relay that information immediately. So we are immediately sharing the community every day, five days a week. Well, it's hard when you live in an area that has newspapers come out either one day mm -hmm. a week or twice a week. Right. The world keeps happening. You know, we ride by the funeral homes on five going back and forth from McKaysville to Ella J and I invariably find myself going we've got to call this you know this information line mm -hmm. or that information line because we don't know or we go to the Monday meal and, and people share something happened we right. recently lost a wonderful friend of right. ours in her her late 90s but that's part of, of putting all of this together is rolling all of that info that people stop and give us mm -hmm. people someone asked me one day what, was Bill your son or was Matt my son? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, no. You and I both are now in trouble. No, no, in trouble. no. But then I stopped brother, and I thought, right. oh, wait a minute, this is the scary part. You could be my son. <laughs> he could be my son. And I love my son, but I'll take both of these That's guys because right. they're really good. Hey, and she's what about my, me? I was about That's to say, right. she's my other surrogate daughter. <laughs> And you, you got full claims on Freddie, so I'm not, I'm not going there. Well, there is somebody missing today, and we want to say hello. My Friday co-host, Angela, had major surgery yesterday, but we are very pleased to tell you she was battling cancer, and everything looks so good. She is actually going home as we speak. She should have been here today, but, you know, surgery, do the show. Nah, I couldn't do that. We want to say hello to her, and I think we have to say good morning, Angela. Best good wishes morning, to you. Morning. We love yeah, you, love and we love miss you. you. Wish you were with, here with us. There are some people here with us who brought us apples. We're going to talk apple country. We're going to talk about simple recipes from Waldorf salad to fried apple pies to an apple dip. We're going to share some recipes with you that have been on our calendars and will be on the calendars. Right now, we're going to take a break. Wow, we, oh my gosh, what are we going to do with this? Eat Three it. things that can never be too rich, <laughs> men, chocolate, and coffee. This one is great. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back. Today is all about the holidays, 
the past three years, we are approaching three years with North Georgia now today. We're approaching four and a half years with Heart of the Home. Jen, you came on board um, and taught me something about local produce. I used to run up to Darnell Farms in Bryson City, North Carolina, and one day you came in and said, why do you not go to RNA? Well, we rounded up the second generation RNA owner, Miss Ann Futch. Now, Ann, can you talk to us a little bit about the apples that are available now and, and to help people find the place? Because like, an, I was kind of driving a little bit too far and doing a little bit crazy things and she brings me on board and says, it's just right out on 52. Can you talk about it and tell well, us a little bit about it? We have several different varieties of apples. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably so many till I can't remember them all. But um, um, when my dad started it in 1947, he didn't have hardly any different varieties, but today we do have a lot uh -huh. of different varieties. And we're open seven days a week. We're four and a half miles from town. Uh, on LJ. The left, uh -huh, mm -hmm. LJ, on the left. And if anybody sees the show, if they'll come in the Apple House and tell us that they saw it on Sherry Martin's, we'd appreciate that. Good. Now, Highway 52 East, East. <coughs> which mm -hmm. actually goes towards, towards Dawson. Dawsonville or toward Amicalola mm -hmm. Falls. Mm -hmm. Or Delonic. Yeah, so for people yeah. who are out making a trip, this is it's a perfect opportunity to have lunch in downtown LJ or, right. or go to R&A and have chicken and dumplings right. because I've but heard now, about them. Some, some days we uh, don't have them every day. Right now we do have them on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, but they changed the menu. Of course, I'm not there at that house anymore. Mm -hmm. I have Similarly retired. I'm Isn't a, that wonderful? <laughs> I did see her husband the other day, though, working quite hard at the uh -huh. Apple House. So. He, he does that on weekends because he says that's kind of a stress relief. Uh, therapy. But Great to therapy. To me, if I'm there, now I like to do the picky on because then that I'm not in the Apple House because if I see the work needing to be done and I do it, I pay for it. Uh -huh. So I, I do the uh, picky on in September and October. We ha uh, have a tractor trailer ride every weekend in September and Roger does the tractor and I sit in the orchard and wait on him to bring the people to pick you on. Oh wow. Well let's talk about something. We are going to share some recipes. This is Waldorf salad. Now Jen tell me a little bit. I told you when I do Waldorf salad I put miniature marshmallows in it because my mom did that. Did you do that with this one? No I played with this one. Okay. I went to RNA and I bought apples based on how they looked so that it would mm -hmm. have color. the color and you know did the, the Granny Smith and and so many different things this one you know recipe is a beginning exactly so this is a tropical Waldorf salad okay because this is a good time of year for some citrus so uh -huh. it's the different varieties of apples with a little bit of our favorite mayonnaise came uh -huh. from the blue star then it has a Pineapple, citra, uh, coconut dressing on Ooh, over that that's mixed wow. in with a little bit of sour cream. Uh -huh. And there's some celery in there, and there's some mandarin oranges. Okay. This time of year, I, get, I smell Do an I orange. Do I see some craisins? You see craisins in okay. there, and you also see walnuts, some English walnuts, and some pecans. Mm -hmm. I'm a nut fiend. Uh -huh. And as I cook something, I just sort of taste it, and this is what I did. And Yes, I did take her to RNA because I buy all of my, my produce mm -hmm. from there. Your I had no idea I could everything. buy it locally, yeah. Oh, I said, this is better than any you're getting anywhere else, mm -hmm. and, and come go with me. And so I played with this, and you and I have talked. We're having a holiday this year with a lot of different things. I have a, a larger expanded family mm -hmm. now, and different people are coming. So different people are going to bring dishes so that not one person cooks a whole dinner for 25 or 30. That's which the key. All, the, every, all of us Absolutely. standing here have, have slaved in, in the kitchen from sunup on Thanksgiving. But this year I'll get to get up and watch that great parade on TV, which means Christmas is mm -hmm. on its way. Go out to RNA, get this, get the red Listen, velvet. This will stress you out making these right. things. And when we you're doing, what does this towel say? Seriously over scheduled. Over -scheduled. <laughs> Every single one of us are seriously over scheduled. And thank you, Sylvia Johnson, for my tea towel. This means that I don't run home from doing two jobs and have to make a pumpkin roll. RNA Orchards offers these. Now, Ann, tell me, do people have to place their orders well in advance? Not on the pumpkin rolls. Now, we don't make as many of the red velvets as, as we do the pumpkin rolls. But okay. But she's already been making the pumpkin rolls already. Okay. We got them ready in the freezer. Now, so some of the other things you offer, uh, apple pies. Apple pies, pumpkin pies, sweet potato pies. Um, Best pecan pie around. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And peach pies, and we have no sugar fried pies, uh -huh. and I think there are 15 different varieties of the uh, 
fried pies. Incredible. Now, Charlene, you've been to RNA Orchards, haven't you? We did a live show up there. That's what I was fixing to say when we came and shot the that live was show. So much I fun. think I took home one of every kind of pie, and they're all delicious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. That was a good day. Now, Ann, let's talk about this year. We are approaching the third year anniversary of North Georgia Now Today. Your husband is the genius, the brain, the man behind the plan. He came up with this idea and he called me one day after Thanksgiving. So I always relate Thanksgiving to the best day of my life. The next day, Roger called me and said, I have an idea for a new talk show. And I walked in, we talked about it. I'd never done live TV before. Today, I would rather do live than anything. Mm -hmm. Love live TV. If there's a goof up, there's a goof up. <laughs> we just cover it up and we say, whoops, look what happened. There that is some crazy, fun. it yeah. is fun, it is fun. We are truly, a lot of television shows say so and so, so and so live. We truly are live, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. 8.30 to 10 a.m. You and I have slid in there as fast as we could, run, jumped in our seats, and been mic'd up yes, one yeah. second before we go <laughs> on the air. You know, live TV with us means truly live TV. Now, we're going to feature some music right now from two guests who are on the morning show this morning, Travis and Alicia Bridgman. You and I are late-nighters. Do you know how many nights I've watched you at oh, 2 o'clock yeah. in the morning? Oh, yeah. Oh, go there. <laughs> That's right. Well, right now, we're going to take a break, and we are going to go to the Bridgmans. I hope you'll sit back and enjoy this music, and remember, DVR, you'll have some great music to keep for the uh, winter months when you have nothing else to do, sit around and listen to some great music by Travis and Alicia Bridgman. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Through my trials and tribulations, I am not afraid. Welcome back. Wasn't that wonderful music by the Bridgemans? Check out their website, thebridgemans.com, um, or go over to Antioch Baptist Church and visit with them one Sunday morning. It's located just off Pilgrim Mill in Forsyth County. Now, one of my favorite things about cooking is not to. I've done tons of cooking in my life, and I used to do the big Thanksgiving dinner, have all the family there, and I would say, no, no, don't bring anything. Let me do it all. Let me die. Let me suffer. Let me cry. Let me kick. Let me throw things, and I have done all of the above. I learned this trick. Find a local business that does something very, very well, whether it be Colonel Poole's unusual barbecue, uh, his great, great coleslaw. Now, let's talk about his coleslaw. It has vinegar base. It's vinegar and sugar and something that he tells me is a secret and then he giggles and that kind of worries me. It worries me. <laughs> <laughs> it worries me. When, but, I, when Oscar giggles, you better be, be careful. Well, if you don't know Colonel Oscar Poole, I encourage you to get to know him. Go by, is it called Pig Hill? Well, it's called Pig Hill and we've all got pigs on that hill yes, of fame. Uh, yes. It's the Pig Hill of Fame. That's right. Go by and meet him and, and talk to he and his wife Edna a little bit. Pig
pick up a couple of pounds of barbecue, pick up a huge container of coleslaw, show up at your mother-in-law's, and don't stress and don't cook. Now, Ann, you brought us something else that I've never had before. This is a caramel mm. apple caramel pie. Caramel apple nut oh pie. Oh, my it gosh. delicious. Now, warmed up with some Mayfield ice cream. Would this be incredible? Mm. Ladies, there's nothing you can make that is any better than this. Just take it out of that um, um, aluminum pan, uh -huh. put it in one of your Pyrex, and nobody's gonna know. No, nobody's gonna know. gonna know. That's right. Now let's talk about some other things. When I show up for, if I'm visiting somebody and I don't want to take something already cooked, quite often I'll take them some of these. Now you've got relishes. We've got chow chow, and this is something I think is very interesting: green jalapeno. Jelly. It, uh, you can. Have you tasted on, this? No, because I'm not a hot person. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you can put it on crackers and cream cheese. I've heard that. Just say a little bit of cream cheese. Yeah. I, I did a club cracker mm -hmm. with cream cheese and mm -hmm. just a bite, and it was quite good. Now, Jen, tell me about these two products. These came from Trevor's up on the square in L. J. Well, my brother has a store on the square downtown L. J. Mm -hmm. and he carries a small line of locally produced products and okay. one that we brought is a sweet onion balsamic yeah that just and it, it was odd but the day didn't I tasted we do this it on a, a Cornish game hen we deep yeah, fried Cornish we game hen and then basted them with a small balsamic sweet onion wow but again put a little bit of that on the cracker is quite surprising mm -hmm. we have such a, a diverse opportunity up here to highlight great mm -hmm. vegetables and fruits and things right. and it's so important and, and uh, Trevor's and RNA work jointly on some things. I mm -hmm. know um, we all support the area, and you're right. living, we're in the apple capital right now, the southeast. So and that's what we want to encourage people. We want to encourage people. We say take a day trip. Take a day trip to Ball Ground, L. J. Talking Rock, Jasper. Go up to Blue Ridge and meet the Merciers. They're wonderful, wonderful people. And, and you know what, the coolest thing about it is when you go there, quickly you become family. You know, when you walk in, you feel comfortable sitting down in a rocking chair. I've done it at r &A. I hung out there the other day and handed out some of my calendars and met some people who were there shopping from, I think, Loganville and mm -hmm. Warner Robins, different places. But this area has such a homey atmosphere. And I think that's what makes the program we do work because it just feels like you're visiting with us. Don't you think that's important, Charlotte? I think so. And one thing we didn't talk about a few minutes ago, the good thing about the program, you know, we were talking about people passing away, but also people with needs, prayer needs. Absolutely. I mean, prayer requests come in all the time to me, to you. I may uh -huh. get a phone call, an email, somebody stops by the store. And I think that's another, all of us local people, and if you're not a local person, we all hang in there together. That's right. With that's right. With yeah, that's I, right. Think, I think that's the key and I think that's that right. is the community we serve from Turtle Town to Ball Ground. We really do care about you. We're going to feature some music today. Some was filmed here in your house by the Barker Brothers. Yes. Um, you know, we do, we promote gospel music, we promote reading scripture. Matt Dobler always does his Tuesday inspirational message. We had a guest pastor today. We really do try to lift people up, and I think that's the most important thing you can do for each other. Right. Find some way every day of your life to lift somebody up. Right. You do that with me. You can tell when I'm having a down day. You know, you can read me like a book. You scare me. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're going to go to some music. We want you to sit back and enjoy some music filmed here at Charlene's house. I think you're going to enjoy it. The Barker Brothers being, once again, local talent. Sit back and enjoy the Barker Brothers from Copper Hill, Tennessee. was so sound asleep. In deep despair they woke the master because the winds and the waves do cease. I want to stay in the boat with Jesus. I want to be close by his side. I know with Jesus is the captain, you'll make it safely to the other side. Stay in the boat with 
holidays have a wonderful fall Charlene have you got a message quickly happy holidays happy holidays happy Bill holidays. bye Matt <laughs> thanks for watching see you tomorrow Jim enjoy this great family time and God bless God bless God bless Freddie happy holidays happy holidays